Hi, Lori. We reported that the city spent over $10 million on the navigation team in 2017. The group of city department workers who maintain and clean encampments and help relocate unsheltered people. Today, the city council publicly reviewed those numbers. The sun is shining, the flowers blooming, and the birds are chirping in Seattle's Green Lake neighborhood. A bright day after this community took a dark turn. An unauthorized encampment with a couple dozen people moved in. Very anxious, kind of 24-7 anxiety. We've seen Swept a out a few weeks ago by the city's navigation team. It is the kind of work that has been controversial. The sweeps are not helping. And costly. 10.2 million in city funding in 2017, with 675 people living in unsanctioned encampments accepting shelter, two-thirds accepting some form of service. City-sponsored crews have also collected tons of associated garbage. The tenor of um, the public discourse. Today, Council Member Lisa Herbold held a public review in a largely empty council chambers and offered praise for the navigation team. I think a lot of the polarization we've seen in, in the community is based on a belief that the city's not doing anything, and I think it's really harmful. Herbold also acknowledged the city has not done a good job telling the NAV team's story. Is this an efficient use of city taxpayer money? I, I believe it is. I, I believe that people um, want these issues addressed. I think I believe people um, want to make sure that um, people are being linked to services and uh, permanent housing options and interim housing options like shelter. And I believe people want their um, communities and, and neighborhoods cleaned up. The team has already cleaned more than 100 sites in 2018, helped relocate residents to safer locations. And depending on how city leaders decide to spend new head tax revenue, it could grow a lot like those flowers are again. One thing that came out of today was a push for more low barrier shelters in Seattle that some people are refusing to get off the streets because of strict drug or alcohol rules. That's a whole other issue, but the takeaway today was that city leaders believe there has been progress with these navigation teams. But Chris, what's the barometer on this? How do we know what really works? Well, Lori, it's a great question. A lot of people have opinions on this, and I think there's going to be a reckoning next week. It seems like everyone has a best idea on how to reduce the homeless numbers, but next week there should be a key announcement from the latest one night count that will be released, which counts the number of homeless and the unsheltered, if that number goes up, there could be a lot of criticism. If it goes down, you'll see people draw conclusions about what has been done correctly. So I think that's going to be a big number that comes out next week when we talk about the head tax or homelessness in general.